SpaceX's Starship has experienced more than a few crashes or explosions during uncrewed suborbital testing. Starship! Some more dramatic than others. An explosive debut, the most powerful rocket ever built, blew up minutes into its first ever flight. During a test flight in Texas on April 20th, the company's Starship rocket exploded minutes after its launch. From fireballs to triumphs. The inside story of Starship rocket explosions. Discover the hidden truths and jaw-dropping revelations behind SpaceX epic battles with explosive setbacks in this gripping video. Welcome to an eye-opening journey into the world of space exploration. In this YouTube video, we will delve into the intriguing question of why SpaceX Starship rockets have experienced dramatic explosions. Through expert analysis, in-depth investigations, and cutting-edge simulations, we'll uncover the untold story behind these fiery setbacks. From propulsion failures to structural flaws, from software glitches to propellant mishaps, we'll explore the complex and riveting factors that have led to these awe-inspiring explosions. Join us as we uncover the truth behind these rocket disasters and unveil the lessons learned on the quest to reach the stars. Get ready for a captivating exploration of space's most fiery mysteries. In a breathtaking moment witnessed by millions, the highly anticipated launch of SpaceX's colossal Starship rocket ended in a sudden explosion over the Gulf of Mexico. But for SpaceX, it was not a failure, but rather a valuable learning experience on the frontier of space exploration. This was just the initial test flight, with many more to come. The failure occurred during the complex stage separation process, a critical maneuver in rocketry. Despite encountering challenges, the first stage separated successfully after navigating the intense aerodynamic pressure known as the Max-Q point. Remarkably, even with six of its 33 engines shutting down shortly after liftoff, the Starship rocket demonstrated its capacity and resilience as a pioneering spacecraft. So, let's see what actually happened. The Super Heavy Booster Rocket, the first stage of SpaceX's Starship spaceship and critical to its orbital launch, detonated suddenly during its test flight. But what led it to unravel? Surprisingly, it was neither a propulsion or guiding failure, but a mechanical problem with the separation process. The Starship spaceship was scheduled to separate from the booster rocket using its unique unscrewing technology but the connection clamps simply refused to release. This unforeseen disaster has sent shockwaves through the world of space exploration, raising significant issues and spurring increased investigation into the safety and reliability of rocket technology. Before proceeding further and analyzing the various aspects of this incident, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below to stay updated with these types of strategic nature videos. Now, let's continue. Now let's examine from where it took off for the flight and what happened just after minutes. The Starship program, launched from Boca Chica, Texas, boasts a cutting-edge facility called Starbase, complete with rocket integration hangars, control and tracking centers, and storage systems for methane and oxygen. A towering 490-foot launch tower stands tall, with plans for a similar tower at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. SpaceX's vision is to achieve a rapid orbital launch rotation with reusable rockets, aiming for frequent, perhaps weekly, launches from Starbase. The capacity to quickly construct and launch rockets is critical to the program's success. The launch tower has a crane to help assemble the two rocket units on the support pedestal. Following liftoff and separation, the first stage executes a braking maneuver and returns to the launch tower, where two huge grappling arms, called chopsticks by SpaceX, grasp the rocket and place it on the launch pad. The second stage lands on an adjacent platform vertically. Once both stages have been retrieved, they may be reassembled, tested, repaired, and refueled in a matter of days for another flight. Although the first flight did not intend to undertake recovery maneuvers, this bold ambition intends to revolutionize space travel. Hey folks, now let's discuss what was the explosion like? The TV feed captured the exhilarating launch of SpaceX's Starship rocket with eager anticipation. But then there was a heart-stopping moment. The two stages refused to split. As the mission control team reacted quickly, they delivered the signal to detonate the explosive charges on both stages. 
resulting in a fiery explosion. It was a determined move to avoid a chaotic and dangerous fall to Earth. This critical safety system, which has been present in every launch since the beginning of the space race, ensured that the 400 foot or 120 meter Starship did not endanger the lives and property below. Witness the thrilling details of this high-stakes event as we discover why the rocket detonated. For SpaceX, a successful liftoff and flight to the required altitude for stage separation was an achievement in itself. Now the job is to learn from this experience, refine the next Starship, and conduct more tests. SpaceX engineer John Insprucker, serving as a launch commentator on the company's webcast, said, Now this was a development test. This was the first test flight of Starship, and the goal is to gather the data, and as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. SpaceX flew to new heights with a successful liftoff and climbed to the appropriate altitude for stage separation, embarking on a pioneering trip into the unknown. However, as SpaceX engineer John Insprecher pointed out during the launch webcast, this was only the first test flight of Starship, and the focus now is on gathering useful data developing the next version, and preparing for the next enterprise. SpaceX is set to pave a trail of discovery and innovation in the domain of space exploration, thanks to an unyielding dedication to continual development. With the facts mentioned as how and why the Starship crashed, let's evaluate other aspects. Does it put a moon landing at risk? NASA and the European Space Agency's ambitious Artemis project has set its sights on landing astronauts on the moon and they have chosen Starship as their spacecraft of choice. With the upcoming Artemis II mission, where four astronauts will orbit the moon, NASA's tried and tested SLS rocket will take the lead. However, the groundbreaking Artemis III mission, aiming to put humans on the lunar surface by 2025, will heavily rely on the capabilities of Starship. This ambitious timeline has left even the most optimistic space enthusiasts in awe and the recent explosion incident may pose challenges that could potentially affect the accelerated schedule. Is it part of the lunar program? The Starship, which was originally constructed for Mars, now has extraordinary adaptability. It can launch hundreds of satellites into low orbit or fly to other planets thanks to its vast payload capacity. In fact, NASA recognized its potential and awarded SpaceX the contract to develop the Artemis lunar lander. In terms of cost-effectiveness, SpaceX concept was the obvious victor among the three. What distinguishes them is that they have previously partially tested their vehicle, making them the most dependable option. NASA's plan is to send three astronauts to the Artemis III mission to land on the moon in 2025 using a modified version of Starship. Just envision the sight of a large lunar lander attached to the small Orion capsule, reminiscent of the Apollo era but on a grander scale. It's bound to leave a lasting impression. So again, the question arises here is will the lunar starship return to Earth after landing on the moon? The spacecraft's lunar variant is intended for a one-way mission to the moon, where it will remain moored after landing. After essential checks and refueling, the astronauts will return to Earth in the Orion spacecraft, which might potentially be utilized in future moon landings. The real concern, though, is whether the spaceship's lunar module will be ready in a few years. The critical refueling process for the one-way voyage to lunar orbit has yet to be tested, and there are no actual prototypes beyond SpaceX renderings. NASA intends to fly the lunar starship unmanned late next year but only once. In contrast, before Apollo 11 launched 50 years ago, the lunar module conducted three tests, including two with astronauts on board. The Artemis III lunar landings is currently slated for December 2025. However, considering the hurdles, many experts believe that completing this deadline would be nothing short of miraculous. As we wrap up this video on why the Starship rocket exploded, it's clear that space exploration is a complex and challenging endeavor. While SpaceX has made tremendous strides in developing the Starship, there are still many questions that remain unanswered. What caused the explosion of the Starship prototype? And what steps are being taken to prevent such accidents from happening again? How will this setback impact the future of space exploration, and what lessons can we learn from it as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible? These are important questions to consider as we reflect on the explosion of the Starship rocket and look ahead to the exciting developments in space exploration that lie ahead.
Thank you for watching, and be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below.